Welcome to the Wellcraft Pro, underwater welding technology training for commercial divers. My name is David Keats and I am the author of the program and the managing director of Speciality Welds. Before you start your training, I wanted to take this opportunity to highlight one or two areas of the course and the study required so that you have a better understanding. The course is 80 hours in duration and covers dry and wet welding theory and practice. The program itself is uh, certified and verified by EAL, which is the Engineering Marine and Training Authority, and the program is also approved by IMAST, which is the Institute of Marine Engineering Science and Technology. At the end of the course you will undertake a practical welder qualification test. This will be conducted under one of two standards, either ISO 15618 or BS 4872. Your instructor will advise you more about this at the time. Now, some of you may have already completed the online self-test paper which is uh, required for stage one, that's your first week's introduction, which mainly covers dry welding. If not, then you will have the option to do this still online or take the paper version in class. There's also an, an option to take the end of course examination online um, but this requires approval by the school, so discuss this with your instructor to establish whether this option might be available. Now let me take you through the course syllabus and what we call LOCs, or Learning Outcomes. You should by now have in front of you your own set of notes, which look something like this. At the beginning of those notes, you're going to find a document which may be called Module Worldcraft Pro document. This is your course syllabus. In other words, it identifies completely all the areas of learning required. Please study this carefully because it will help you greatly when you do your homework assessments. It identifies for each learning outcome those specific areas that you must understand and will be examined on. So don't ignore it, study it, it will help greatly. At the beginning of each LOC, probably on the first page of your notes uh, for each LOC, you will then see a, a question paper. This is your homework. Uh, you are required to submit written homework against each LOC where questions are asked. You must hand this in to your instructor and he will mark them and assess them uh, individually. <clears throat> Before I then hand you over to your instructor to start your training, it just leaves me to, to wish you the very best of luck. Um, but let me remind you that this is a very tough course. You will have to work hard in order to pass. Um, it's not uh, uh, just a rubber stamp course. You will have to pass both the theoretical examination, um, your assessments for your, uh, your written homework, the practical exercises will all be recorded uh, as an evidence portfolio uh, and then your end of course exam and then of course your welder qualification test. But enjoy I hope that you get a great deal from the programme and uh, let me just close now and wish you the very best of luck. Thank you.